The city of Waldo is dealing with the loss of the Waldo Police Department after a series of scandals involving ticket quotas. The speeding problem in Waldo could soon become a major problem following the dissolution of Waldo's Police Department. WUFT's Amanda Wood shows us how the Alachua County Sheriff's Office is handling the situation. The city of Waldo's legendary speed trap may soon be coming to an end. The disbandment of Waldo's police department forced the Alachua County Sheriff's Office to assign a deputy to the whole town, not just the main road through town. ASO now has control over the problem area, but will take a less strict approach. Um, but I do believe there is a speeding issue. It's just not going to have the stigma of having them out there 24-7 doing nothing but writing citations. Around two decades ago, an 83-year-old woman was crossing this street to get to the Waldo flea market when she was struck and killed by a speeding car. That was when the real speeding problem was discovered in Waldo and this traffic light was put in place to slow the motorists down. Residents and shop owners in the area are disturbed at the huge jump in the number of people speeding through their town. It's not if, it's when somebody gets killed out here at this intersection because people blow that light all the time and now that it's been announced all over the state that we no longer have a police department, people have been flying through here regular. With limited patrol resources, the sheriff's office arranged for a second deputy to patrol the city of Waldo, but only when there are no other calls that require service. And it's going to take them 45 minutes or a lot more to get out here if something happens, where before, bam, they were here. The Alachua County Sheriff's Office says with change comes uncertainty. The Sheriff's Office hopes the city of Waldo will get used to them being there and the uncertainty will go away. Amanda Wood, WUFT News. There are still about 1,300 outstanding Waldo traffic tickets. Those who receive the tickets will need to either pay them or fight them in court, but one issuing officer has requested all his cases be dismissed.